and also it was the third place where I first met Mike. And during the tour that I gave him, we got to talking. And it turned out that we had the same view of science, which is not just that it's useful, and it is undeniably useful, it's given us the modern world, you know, mobile phones, aeroplanes, you name it, science has given it to us. But also that science is a cultural activity. It's an activity that allows us to ask and perhaps answer some of the most profound questions that we've always asked throughout history. You know, why is the universe here? Why is the universe as big as it is? How old is the universe? Where did we come from? And in the case of the LHC, what is the world made of? And those are questions that Mike told me that inspired this piece of music that you're going to hear in a few minutes and vacuum. And so he thought it would be a good idea if I stood here and showed you a little bit about the, well, those profound questions and the picture of the universe that science has given us as a kind of a warm up. So I said the job of the LHC is to tell us what the world is made of. Well, what do we mean by the world? Is it this picture? A picture given to us because we have a space program. You know, 50 years ago we wouldn't have been able to see our planet. A photograph of our planet like that. You know, one of the first, well, the first Saudi Arabian astronaut, when he orbited the Earth on the space station, said on the first day that he looked down at the planet, he spent his time looking for Mecca as it came around. On the second day, he spent his time looking for Saudi Arabia. And on the third day, he could see only the Earth. Now, if that sentiment for me was spread and understood throughout the world, that would pay for the space program a million times over. It's a beautiful sentiment. Particle physics, though, is not only concerned with what makes up the Earth, because the world is much bigger than that. Next slide, please. My remote control isn't working too well. This is the next picture I wanted to show you. You might not be able to see it all, but there's the crescent Earth, and that thing up at the top there is the crescent moon. This was the first picture taken of the Earth-Moon system from deep space. Actually, by the Voyager space program on its way to Jupiter and Saturn and eventually out of the solar system. It's not the best picture of the Earth and the Moon, but I think, for me, it's beautiful. You see these fragile crescents here. That's about a quarter of a million miles away. And if I can go to the next picture. This is one of my favorite pictures of all time. This is taken by the Cassini space program. It's one picture of the Saturn, which is 750 million miles away from the Earth. The sun is fat lighting Saturn. But the most incredible thing, and I don't know, can you see that point of light there, underneath the ring? If I can go to the next picture, I'll blow that up for you. The next picture? <laughs> Shouldn't be. Oh no! <laughs> That's it, press the space button. There it is, that's just a blow-up of that little corner of Saturn. You can see the rings and this little pixel of light underneath the ring. That turns out to be our planet, planet Earth, from 750 million miles away. One of my great heroes, Carl Sagan, used to say, think that everything that's ever existed, every piece of human history, every general that's fought a war, has fought the war over a little piece of that pixel. It's an incredible perspective. The next picture, <laughs> though, is even more incredible. Incredibly, that is not the most distant picture ever taken of our planet by a space probe. It's this one. This is a picture taken by the Voyager 1 space probe when it was 4 million miles away from Earth. 4 million. It was on its way out of the solar system. And NASA had the foresight to turn it around and take a picture of its home planet in deep space. You probably can't see where it is, but it's there, that single pixel. And the next slide <laughs> will give you an arrow. There it is. <laughs> that <laughs> is the most distant picture ever taken of our world, planet Earth. I think it's a very moving and beautiful picture. Those colours, by the way, are shafts of sunlight, because from four million miles away, the, um, four, I, should, I keep saying four million, it's a long way. I should actually, yes, four million is correct. Um, the, these, these are just shafts of sunlight, the Earth's very near the sun. So, the universe is getting bigger, the world is getting bigger. But the next picture, this is a picture of a piece of sky. I'm going to show you now the most, the deepest, most detailed picture we've ever taken.